y'all, I don't know what's going on with Jojo Siwa at this point because not only is she embarrassing herself in front of the entire internet, but she's also offending a lot of people, including pregnant women. Yeah, no one told me this was the new strategy to gain clout nowadays. You know, it's been a hot minute since Jojo Siwa has been involved in some type of drama, but for some reason, she's coming back this week with a lot of controversies that surround her love life, her career, and even her personality. And y'all, things are not looking too good for her at all. Let's take a look at what went down with Jojo this week. It's kind of surprising to see the whole internet throwing hate at JoJo out of nowhere because, you know, she's been the people's favorite influencer for years now, as the internet claims her to be very unproblematic and child-friendly. However, these controversies that went down this week with JoJo say otherwise, as many people came to the realization that JoJo isn't the person she portrays to be on social media. Because not only is she an attention seeker now, but also money-hungry too. If we go back to my previous videos, we addressed a lot of the issues that went down with Jojo ever since she came out as a member of the LGBTQ community. And ever since this happened, things started going downhill for Jojo once she decided to reveal her relationship to the internet. Jojo went from being in a public relationship with a girl to literally splitting up with her just to be with someone else, and this situation continued to the point where Jojo decided to cause a huge public breakup between a popular couple just to be with one of them. Yeah, I'm talking about Avery Cyrus and Soph because to this day, you guys, a lot of fans seem to haven't fully recovered from the damage that Jojo caused to this power couple. And we've seen it happening after Jojo began hanging out with Avery and pretending that she wasn't behind Avery and Soph breaking up. After months of Jojo and Avery being in a public relationship, things slowly came to an end between the two once the couple disappeared off the internet for a while and came back with heartbreaking news. Although I wouldn't say things didn't take a turn for the worse because after Avery and Jojo announced their breakup, Avery decided to post a video with her ex Soph just to tease Jojo. So as soon as we find out who you are, trust you will be dealt with, period. And of course, Jojo fell for it after she decided to post a video about her venting about how she was tricked into thinking that she was loved and how it was all for clicks and views. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Because I got used. For what? <laughs> for views. Uh... And for clown. Uh... And I got tricked into being told that I was loved. And I got played. <laughs> As soon as this video was posted, people immediately knew that Jojo was referring to Avery rekindling her friendship with her ex, Soph. And y'all, this situation made Jojo go on TikTok the next day to expose Avery for using her for clout after she said this in her newest TikTok video. You told one of my best friends that you were excited to be dating me because you're growing your career and want to get to the top. Keep in mind, y'all, this situation went down almost a year ago, and the fact that the beef between Jojo and Avery is still happening needs to be discussed. Now, I'm not sure whether Jojo and Avery got back together after beefing with each other last year because some people believe they did. Others believe that Jojo went back to her ex, Katie. However, just recently, Jojo decided to post a very shady TikTok video about her ex-girlfriends where she called some of them clout chasers, love bombers, and more. Check this out. After this video was posted, one of Jojo's ex-girlfriends, Katie Mills, decided to go on TikTok to expose Jojo in a one-minute video where she talked about how Jojo played both her and Avery and how she sent them through hell for months and gave them no explanation. You sent me and Avery through hell for months and gave us no explanation why. This video right here, you guys, gained over 2.2 million likes as many people believed that Jojo was the villain throughout her relationships with these girls. And that's how the hate train toward Jojo started this week. It went from Jojo being attacked for playing her ex-girlfriends to Jojo straight up getting canceled for being insensitive. And the reason for that is because of Jojo pretending to be pregnant for a while now. I'm not sure whether you guys have seen Jojo's recent Snapchat stories, but basically she's been clickbaiting with being pregnant for weeks now to earn money. And in case you guys don't understand how Snapchat works nowadays, well, a lot of influencers such as David Dobrik and more use controversial and inappropriate pictures on their Snapchat to trick people into clicking on their stories. And this came after Snapchat announced that influencers could make up to 100K dollars from their stories alone. But the issue with JoJo using Snapchat is that she was taking the clickbaiting part way too far. I mean, not only was she clickbaiting about being pregnant by poking out her stomach in pictures, but she was also throwing a gender reveal party and going to Target just to post pictures of baby clothes. At first, people were confused about whether JoJo was actually pregnant or not. But then things got out of control 
once Jojo decided to clickbait with a picture of a guy placing his hands on Jojo's stomach. At this point, people felt that Jojo was using this technique to gain clicks and followers from people. And of course, this situation made Jojo get dragged by tons of people on social media as many of them found it very insensitive and weird for her to clickbait about being pregnant when a lot of women struggle with this specific type of situation. Here's what some people had to say. I want to know how much Snap is paying her for faking the pregnancy clickbait. It's called clickbait and the more y'all post about it, the more she will keep doing it. Okay, thank God someone else sees this as wrong. I've seen people say, oh, she's being funny. Like, how is that funny? My little sister wants a baby and can't have one. Trying so hard to be relevant again. Just from people addressing the issue, it made JoJo create a lot of buzz on social media, especially after she started making headlines over her being pregnant. And I bet you guys that JoJo earned tons of money off of her using this strategy alone. Now, as a response to JoJo getting dragged by millions of people on social media, JoJo began posting more annoying videos of her just to piss people off. Since she recently posted this Snapchat story of her singing an Olivia Rodrigo song where she was straight up screaming while singing. You're still a traitor. RIP headphone users. After this, JoJo posted another annoying video of her singing on Snapchat where she seemed to be making weird facial expressions in her video just to piss people off. And surprisingly, this technique worked perfectly for JoJo after tons of people on TikTok started duetting her video and making fun of her facial expressions. Then remembered I it's crazy that a lot of people are falling for this when the only purpose of Jojo embarrassing herself is to attract viewers to her Snapchat stories because according to the sources, you guys, Snapchat is allegedly paying Jojo between 100K to 500K per day just from her clickbaiting. So the question is, should people call Jojo out for making insensitive clickbaits or should they ignore her just so she stops her cloud chasing? I would love to hear your opinions on the situation down below, but for now, make sure to click on the tab above for more juicy videos on the influencers.